and show that you support the community. If you're going to buy something, this is a great time to buy it. They love to see that their sales increase off of something like this. So if you're going to buy something from Hawaii, now it's time to do it. Are they going to go straight right in? Or is this a button check? Stick check, whatever. Rax versus MSP. Neo. Player side. Yep. Neo, Neo player player side. Getting prepped. I know they don't want to play each other, you know, be it both from the West Coast. Surely. But you know what? It, it's, um, it's really no choice left. It's at this point in the tournament. There's only four people left in the tournament. Hey, if you don't want to play your friend, then lose before you play your friend. Okay. The loser of this get, um, places four, by the right, way. Right. That's right. Okay, people are placing the bets right now. I guess. By the way, we still have not announced the winner for the um for the Mad Cash Chung Lee um fight stick, the S series, the um the uh, we're still working on that. We'll let you know when we have the winner up and done. So yeah, if, if you have if if you're still waiting to hear the announcement on who's won the um the Chung Lee uh, limited S series stick, um that still has not happened yet. So we'll let you know. Again, if you don't know about the contest, just go on the front page of teespooky.com. All the details are there. If you already entered the contest, do not enter it again. Uh, we already entered. So, yeah, there you go. Remember, the uh, the winner of this whole loser semi, of this loser bracket, is going to have to go face Yipes and beat him about 10 games. <laughs> not, not the easiest thing to do. The work is cut out for him. His work is cut out for him. Whoever it shall be. Okay, and we're going to go right into action right now. Chris Red comes out very aggressively. Neo jumps backwards. And he scores a knockdown right now. He's in the corner. Gets out of the corner. Calls it. Flying backwards. Right now, they're both try um, he's trying to zone him out. Chris Red is playing very um, patiently. Doesn't want to lose too much life. Doesn't want to lose Magneto. Put himself in a bad position. It's very hard for Storm to actually fight this team, so he wants to try to keep Magneto as long as possible. Ran into a corridor. Slowly wearing him down. 80 seconds on the clock right now. Flies into a short. Salah's going to take some damage right now. He's going to have to get Magneto out. He gets infinite. He's going to hyper grab Tempest him. Messes up. Jumps over Commando. Gets another chance. And is he going to hyper grab Tempest him now? He does the unmashable. Messes up on Mashable. And he's gonna chip uh, Sentinel out. Sentinel takes no chip damage at all. Does not, decides not to counter Storm in. Still a very close match. Chris doesn't have any meters. Neo's got a lot to burn. Chris cannot call his assist out very liberally. He's gonna Command. have to play very, very safe with his assist. That's true. Commando is dying. I would have dashed up and launched Commando uh -huh. right there. Oh wow, dash under, pays off for Chris. And is he gonna do it? I would not have done that. Good choice from Chris. Saves the meter, doesn't want to try to DAC, Ooh. doesn't do a lot of damage. Opt to uh, defeat Storm naturally. Doesn't want to risk it just to kill Storm when his only cap bomb in the background. Chris, Chris takes the first take game. game. Dances around the screen a little bit. Okay. Neo looks like he's trying to stay focused right now. He's trying to hype himself up. Fanatic in his border. He's trying to be on the side. He's gonna pick his shit again. Someone's gonna be on point. Let's see if he can step it up. Okay. Chris made up one game, sporting the, the gold underwear. Well, I guess. And it scores a snap out for a sack. Guard breaks. Guard messes up the guard break. Gets, gets the side blade. Attacking commando now. Is he going to go for a mix-up now? 
hits him with a, with a mix up. He sets him with a dash, under dash, over. Now he's got him back in the corner, dashes under him again. Neo, Neo Pringles. not able to block these fast, fast resets. You know what, these these um Santhrax players aren't known for their blocking ability. Yeah, yeah, they're known for jumping away and calling Capcom, but right now that is not helping out. Capcom is dead. Neo still has the threat of the DAC though. A oh, wow, shot to stand Roundhouse out of the melee. A lot Didn't of shit going on in that corner. Yeah, Chris Smith, good uh, cross fierce came from the fly and got himself safe. Ooh, he has a chance right now. What is he? Oh my god, two characters dead? Two characters dead? Catch is Magneto and, too. Oh, and, and this way Magneto's just, back in the game. He's turned around. I like the tag DAC? right there. Oh wow, and no he block for Chris. Here comes a DAC, this is gonna hurt. He's not Ooh. dead just Rocky yet, and he has five meters and though. just like that. He's Neo's just got to get himself out of this corner. And a very impressive win by Neo. Good fucking shit. That's got to shake Chris up a little bit. Maybe even a lot. He, uh, he doesn't look shook to me. He doesn't. He looks confident. But, but you know what? If it was me and I was playing, even with the confidence on my, my face, I'd be shook a little bit. I had the game and I just lost it. But I guess we're going to find out right now. Same matchup, going into game three. Okay, about to go for a sack. Chris Smith opens up with a jump short. Neo back dashes. Chris looks like he's trying to be a little bit more patient this match. Neo is zoning him out, trying to stay mid screen, not trying to fly backwards too much. Oh, gets a launcher. Air combo. Hypergrad Tempest. Neo mashes out. Good mash, good mash. EM Disruptor. Pushing him back to the corner. Neo flies over. Messes up a OTG. Plasma Storm and Cyblade hits him out of it. Trying to chip Magneto out. Chris can get out safely. He's going to eat these. He knows he can get out safely whenever he wants. And He's going to go ahead and do it. It was a smart decision as Magneto is very, very low. Um, Neo sitting on one level, Chris has nothing. This is, still, yeah, this is still a great spot for Neo, even though Sentinel is down to about 20-30%. That's a lot of life for a character like Sentinel, he doesn't take a lot of damage. Plus, Chris does not have any meters, so uh, Neo doesn't have to worry about the threat of the hailstorm right now. He can play his game, spitting and flying from afar, and he doesn't have to worry about getting any chip damage, or randomly getting caught in the air and eating a hailstorm. Neo. Just like that right there! Ooh. He let Chris get the meter, did not maintain on fly, and I uh, totally lost his character because of just a huge miscalculation. It's going to give Chris a chance to come back. Neo pressing with a storm. Has one level. They both actually have one level right now. Uh -huh. Chris, has, Chris has a good lead right now. Jumping over Commando. I like the way he's, how he's avoiding them. Yeah, Chris playing very, very safe. Pressing smartly. Trying to avoid the assist. Not, re not recklessly attacking. Kind of a Showing. very very in tune with the beat, the timing of uh, the assists. You know when it when it's not there, it's coming out. I like how they're showing each other respect. Right. They're not trying to mix it up. That's right. All each other and and have something random happen. And he hit someone lightning storm combo. Will he DAC? Luckily, yeah. I would have DAC. I would have done it. Luckily, Capcom fell out of it. Chris, supreme confidence in a storm. Good guard break. Decides not to DAC. Finishes it out with that storm in the corner was right now. By Josh Wigfall. <laughs> <laughs> and Krishman takes that two one. See? That was an excellent match. Good play by both players. Okay, let's see what Neo does. Let's make it a break right now. Chris looking a little bit more like himself. Obviously that loss, the, the second game didn't shake him up. He just he played he paced it out a little bit more, you know, gave himself a chance to adjust to it and not make any mistakes sometimes pride gets in the way okay let's see how he opens up right now jump up high kick again here comes Neo pressing not afraid of Psylocke right now a little bit of a shades of executioner Neo, Neo looks a little bit more aggressive now uh -huh. like I, I think he realizes that this is the last game so he has to go for it and and flying backwards against Magneto and getting hit eventually is not cutting it. And, 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 and it works out. It's big damage from Neo right now. Chris has got a lot to make up. Here comes the DAC. It's, it's Sentinel basically does nothing. 
Neil's doing a really good, really good job of uh, watching out for Chris's meter, neutralizing the hailstorms and the DAC opportunities, and that's really what he has to fear as long as he stays on the other side of the screen. So here comes Chris Smith, lands uh, the air dash combo, a lot of damage. He could have DAC the Psylocke to seal it away. I think that might have been a good choice on uh, Sentinel, but it would have been a little bit risky at that point. Sentinel's got a lot of life. It's hard to say if he would have died for that. I don't think he wanted to risk Psylocke being in the match. Yeah. How is he going to get her out? You know? Hey, this is Capcom coming in. What are you afraid of? That's true, but hey. Okay, right now Neo has a lead. And he's trying to hold that lead. Basically, Neo is probably going to build meter and go for a couple of hailstorms. Chip it out. Chris, oh, he gets the air grab. Now he's going to do a hailstorm. Chris Chris moving. DAC's out. Chris moving around quite a bit and at the bottom he, of the He makes a bad miscalculation that costs him. Okay. Chris moving around quite a bit at the bottom of the screen right there as Neo takes to the skies. That's all this game is going to look like at the, at the end of the match. It's too risky for Chris to try to go up and pursue him. He's got to try to dash under. Right now, he has like no life. Oh, he messed up a, a good opportunity right there. Damn. Oh my god, he should have lightning storm. He can still do it though. He's still very much in this. Is he going to guard break? He, again, he refuses to guard break. He just tries to go for a dash under and he let Neo right out of the corner. I think he didn't want to risk the life. He didn't have that much Jump, life. Jump, jab, Psylocke, man. Get the fuck out of here. That is not a risk. Well, you know, sometimes trades happen. Ooh. Unblockable. Short, short corridor. Okay, Neo is trying to seal this away right now. Chris Ned had the match sealed away. Let the guard break go. And he can still do it. I think he's not going to do it. He should have done a side blade right there. <laughs> for the chip. Wow. Psychic side blade. Now Chris has got yeah. it. And Chris Smith takes the Dash game. Dash under from Chris Smith. Holds fast with Psylocke. Neo not able to put it away. And Chris finishes it with Psylocke. Is that loser's final? That was oh. loser's semis. Right now, loser's semis. Right now, the loser's final is going to be Desmond Pickney versus Chris Smith. Once again, another Santhrax. Chris Smith smashed that one away from Neo. Good, good comeback by Chris Smith. Yeah, Neo, uh, great performance. Nothing to be ashamed of. Taking fourth the season's beating five. Season beating redemption. Your uh, de facto MDC two major. He has nothing.